So let's see, integral. Okay, let's think about this. Take a moment to think about this. Again, talk to yourself. Tell yourself where you want to look first and what you're seeing. When I look at this integral, my eye is drawn to the denominator because that's where the complexity happens. So for now, I'm not paying attention to this. I'm hoping this is just right to work out in the end. And I tell myself that what I'm seeing is 1 over the square root of x. Not of x, of something. I'm looking at 1 over the square root. And I recognize it. So I recognize that I'm seeing something from the table of derivatives. I'm seeing 1 over square root of something. That something is this expression that's too long for me to say out loud. But what I absolutely need is the square root of that something. So if my hypothesis is correct, it's got to have something to do with this. So there's no choice <coughs> but to have this expression. If my hypothesis is correct, it's got to be something like this. So now it's time to start thinking in reverse reverse, which means you take the derivative of this and you see if things work out. So I actually do another small mental adjustment that I will tell you about in a moment. But when I do that, using that, in, using that derivative, I realize I'll have 1 over twice this. And that's the twice I don't have. You know, 1 over twice this. I don't have the 1 half. But you have to be careful because that 1 half, now you have to make up for the 1 half you don't have. And you make up for it with a factor of 2. So you have to be careful. So I'll speak to that in just a moment times the derivative of what I have underneath the <laughs> radical, 1 goes away, and so I end up with 28x cubed. And that's fantastic because I have x cubed. So what I don't have is that extra factor of 28 that this would produce, so I have to make up for it with 1 over 28. And don't forget about this 2. So why does this 2 become a multiplicative factor? Why do you have to throw in a 2 instead of throw in a 1 half? So what I do mentally is I put a 2 here so it matches up this exactly. And I put a 2 here. Okay, exactly what I did last time. It's a very helpful mental trick to not end up with a 1 half instead of 2 or with a 2 instead of 1 half. So now, looking at the denominator, I have exactly what I want. It would be exactly this square root if it works out right. And it does, because taking the derivative, square roots end up on the bottom with the factor of 2, and then also produces 28 x to the third. I have x to the third. I don't have the 28. So I have to have 1 over 28 times this 2, because this 2 is here. OK, so 2, 28 which I would write down as 1 14th plus C. Okay? Fantastic. Yes, one second. Without the x to the third, this is a killer integral. So you cr at this point, you crave convex, you crave complexity because it gives you structure. Yes. Yeah, so this produced an extra factor of 28. The derivative of this term right here is 28x to the third. So because I don't have that 28 over here, I would have to make up for it with 128. So that when the 28 does come out, it cancels, and I'm left with 1, just like I wanted. That's if I had a 1 there, but I have a 2 there, so that 2 is there. So you have to leave it. So it's 228 or 114. 